YouTube, Topaz Yates back for another album review, and this one is that Toy Lanes I Told You. And you know what? I came into this project with pretty low expectations based on the songs that have already been released and the direction that he's been going and such, on how he's ultimately been trolling Drake and been doing a lot of similar types of music, man. But ultimately, dog, this project is really dope. This really made me proud for Toy Lanes. As a fan, going all the way back to the Mr. Peterson mixtape and such, dude, I'm very happy on how this came out. Because what he ultimately did is he took the best of all of his projects before in the past, not the exact songs, but he took the best aspects of a bunch of these other projects that he's done in the past and mashed them all together and created a pretty solid project, dude. And that actually makes perfect sense because this is how most rappers do, and that's why most rappers' first albums are always better than their entire catalog, is because all of the music that they did leading up to that album all went into that album. So ultimately, this project is like 10 years in the making, and the quality of the music shows a lot of really solid songs on here, man, but it's ultimately a big theme project, a big story, much like he had for the latest Chicks tapes and such, and then he did some other projects before in the past. That's what he took from there. Like my favorite songs that I told you slash another one, man, this is him setting up the whole story for the entire album. And big shout outs to my homie Dwayne who went to a listening party and such saying that this had a really good balance of both rap and R&B, and I told him I was taking his word for it, and ultimately he was was absolutely right. Now, ultimately, I'm not going to give away the story. I definitely want people to go ahead and listen to it, but overall, if you paid attention to his music going back in the time and such, man, you ultimately know a lot of this story of what he's talking about. I like that high song, and that is exactly what I was talking about when I was talking about his latest songs and stuff, man, where they solid, but yet they're not on the level of what the Chicks Tape 1 was. This is on the level of the Chicks Tape 1. Definitely the best R&B song that he had off this entire project. I like that Dirty Money track, man, where ultimately that's him grabbing from the new Toronto sound, man, and that joint gets so hype. I like that Question Is track where ultimately what he's rapping about there is how everything that he's talking about is catching up to him and everything, man. Definitely a dope song there. And I really like that All The Girls song. Oh, man, well, what he's ultimately rapping about there is I got all of these options out here, baby, but I'm rocking with you, and women out here need to actually respect that. Because quite honestly, there's not enough real dudes out here, so all of the real dudes, we got multiple options and multiple chicks that we can actually deal with, and if one actually decides to deal with you, that means he actually likes you. But even songs that I didn't feel as though were very strong as standalone songs and everything, man, they fit into the whole story so perfect that it kind of just rocks. Like, you honestly want to play this from beginning to end, and even the songs that aren't as phenomenal as the rest, you will still listen to him because the key to the story. Songs like Lonely Boulevard was him hitting his lowest point ever. Cold Hard Love, which I already made a video for that, to that To Dream song. It all fits into place so well to the point that I'm like, this is an obvious top 5 album of this year. I give this joint an 8.5 out of 10, but this concludes today's review, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from Underground Producer. Light our beats before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from DownloadPads.com. is decided to do 21 pop-up shops worldwide, dude. All the way to Cape Town, South Africa, to London, and all of that, and then Toronto and a bunch of places within the States, man. And you know, that's genius because wherever he's done a pop-up shop, he sold out almost instantly. So once he got the money to do such a thing, why not? It's only gonna be for the weekend. Either he's gonna make a very big killing or he's gonna take a loss. Either way, he's doing something new, unique, and different, and there's no long-term losses to be had for it. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com and today's article is about pulling the plug because this is an important aspect for when you start developing your plans to go ahead and find your own success. You have to give your plans a certain amount of time to breathe but then it gets to a point where okay it breathes long enough and you no longer need to be doing it anymore. In most cases I say go ahead and do a marketing plan for like a year or until you see the same result happening over and over and over from month to month. Like the moment that you pull the plug is when you exhaust all options and everything is not happening the way you want it to happen. You need to regroup, reformulate a plan, then come back at a different direction. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter, 
up there. And you can go to downloadpass.com. That's down there to read today's article.